Baruch the Yahweh, Baruch Atha, Yahweh Shah, Baruch the Yahweh, Baruch Atha, Yahweh Shah, Ba Hashem, Rakak Wadash, the honors to the apostles, the elders, salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching and truth and sincerity. Lesson will be entitled, The Core of the Ministry. Lord, will you are Edified. This video was inspired by a video Elder Apostle Gabar composed on his YouTube platform, Daily Edification 4, video entitled, The Core of This Ministry is the Prophets, and they will take it to the streets. Now, when you think about the core of a person's body, And according to my Google search, the importance of core, it improves posture, balance and coordination, boost performance, core strength generates power, lower back, injury prevention, core muscles improve balance. Okay, so with this Google search, we see the significance of the importance of the core muscle group, okay? Core, according to the etymon, goes into the heart or inmost part of anything, inmost means what deepest okay so the heart or the deepest part of any three of any things like you so the heart or deepest part of the ministry right so yahweh bahashem yahweh shah utilizes the prophets to teach and preach okay to our people all right and by the same word, it's going to bring salvation or the consequence such as punishment, okay? And the same word will judge these other nations. So, again, the heart or inmost slash deepest part of the ministry First Samuel 28 and 6. And when Saul inquired of Yahweh, Yahweh answered him not, neither by dreams, nor by Urim, nor by prophets. Do you see how the prophets are the core of the ministry? And although Saul lost the spirit, he was still spiritual enough to recognize that Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shah was no longer dealing with him. First Chronicles 16 and 22 saying, Touch not mine anointed, and do my prophets no harm. Again, the prophets are the core of the ministry. We are in the stead of Yahweh Shah via the Spirit. Amos 3 and 7, surely the Lord power will do nothing, but he reveals his secret unto his servants, the prophets. Matthew 2 and 23. And he came and dwelt in a city called Nazareth, that it might be fulfilled 
which was spoken by the prophets. He, referring to Yahweh Shai, shall be called a Nazarene. Luke 1 and 7, as he spoke by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began. Now this is going to this is going into the parable of the rich man and um, Lazarus. Now the rich man was symbolic for the nobility of Edom, beginning with the international bankers such as the Rothschilds, and Lazarus is a representation for the elect of Israel. But this is the point. Luke 16 and 29. Now, this is out there. The rich man has perished and he summoned into the spiritual realm, standing, standing before the judgment seat of Yahweh. Verse 28. For I have five brethren on earth that he may testify to them, lest they also come into this place of torment. Because remember, the kingdom of heaven will be our heaven and Esau and the other nations hell, just like in today's time frame. Okay, Esau's heaven is our hell. Verse 29, Abraham said unto him, they have Moses and the prophets, let them hear them. Okay. One more. Let's go to Baruch chapter 2 and verse 20. For you have sent out the wrath and indignation, which means righteous anger, on us. As you have spoken by the servants, the prophet saying, can't get around it. Okay, you cannot get around it. And I know I said one more. Hebrew Salakia. <laughs> Shit. Hosea 12 and 10. I have also spoken by the prophets, and I have multiplied visions and used similitudes by the ministry of the prophets. So when it comes to the inmost part or the core of this ministry, you must have the prophets. Okay? Because Yahweh through Yahweh Shai gives the information to the prophets. Lord, will you are edified. Shalom.